family and a number of other volunteers have put in a tremendous amount of work putting this document together um, and sent it out with um, some personal testimonials from Emily and others who have experienced some of these negative interactions or frustrating interactions um, in the past. Um, if you um, don't have it in your email, definitely check your spam folder um, because we know that some people it routed that direction. Uh, we are going to be discussing that more in depth this evening, um, and then that um, poster will be published and posted in here, um, I believe, starting this coming week. Um, so if you haven't gotten that, if you um, want to make sure that your email address is on there, um, do you actually have a link to that that I can share real quick? I can put it up here on the screen. Uh, we'll, we'll drop it in the Slack. Or where, where do we have it? Which which doc are you looking for? Sorry. The poster itself. I don't have the image itself. I... Tiana, do you have that image okay, handy? Give me one sec. I have it in my email. Okay. So I'm sure that I can find it. I'm gonna share this. So you guys are gonna be the first public audience that gets to see this. We're going through a couple of minor revisions on this. Um, it's gonna be a little bit small and I apologize. I do this full screen. Um, so really what we're trying to do with this is set some clear guidelines of what appropriate interactions look like, um, and also support that with some tools and additional um, pamphlets and talks on how to potentially address situations that make you feel uncomfortable, or if you see someone else that is feeling comfortable, um, or you know, when you um, see types of harassment, um, or you know, inappropriate communications, things like that, ways to intervene and make sure that this is a community that no one feels um, that they aren't safe here. Um, and we really wanna make sure that everyone who comes to our door feels safe um, and respected. Um, so this is why we are putting, um, have put this together. Um, and I'm really, really excited about um, this initiative. Like I said, Emily has done a huge amount of work on this. Um, and I'm, re I'm really proud to be part of an organization that is taking a stand like this, um, really ensuring that this is a place where people are treated um, with respect at all times. So uh, keep an eye out for this. Um, again, check your email. Come up and grab one of us if you don't have, um, if you don't have it in your email inbox already. It should have gone out to all active members and everyone that is on our mailing list. That or am I jumping the gun? It's not going out until Monday. Uh, I thought I, I, I got the announcement. I just didn't see the post. Okay. Monday, I thought. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to be following, you know, announcing this um, and following up with it, and we'll be hosting a couple of events talking about what this looks like in practical terms. Um, and we've tried to keep this really approachable and pretty clear. Um, you'll see this, um, our dojo cat um, appearing in a number of different areas. Um, we'll have stickers um, that you can get as well um, about respecting personal boundaries that if you want to stick that on your laptop, um, you know, just show that you, know, you support this initiative um, as well. Uh, we'll have those available. Uh, but overall, again, really, really proud of the work that Emily um, and so many volunteers have put in for this. Um, we'll make sure that everyone who, um, everyone in the community gets this at some point or another. Hopefully soon. Um, hands up for anyone who didn't get it. I saw Celine. Yeah. What was that? Did not, if you did not get it. 